Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Erin. And today we're getting back into another one of our videos where we revisit a classic yep. from our yesteryear, as it were. We've done one of these, didn't know if it was actually going to end up being a series that we would continue to do. However, you guys showed up in the views, showed up in the comments. Yeah, and it me... was fun to make, so it was. I it's, liked it. It's nice taking a little trip down mem yeah. memory road from time to time. Or the lane, memory lane. Do people say memory, memory lane or memory road? Memory lane. Oh, yeah. I don't think anybody says memory no road. No one says memory road. I was not going to say that, but you brought it up. You're right. No one says memory road. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm going down memory road. She's going down memory lane. Join us. Today, we're talking about Woodford Reserve. And the whole premise behind these classics revisited videos is whether or not these products that from years back we used to drink before we got nerdy about whiskey before i got nerdy about whiskey you're still not nerdy <laughs> not about whiskey nerdy. but before we got into the stuff that we're into these days yes. is the classics the old school classics that just sit on the shelf are they still worth buying here in 2023 and that's something that matters i think to a lot of people yeah. because People are trying to figure out where they want to spend their money. That is very important to us over yeah. here. That's why we say we're a real world channel for the real world whiskey consumer. I say it much worse than she does. That's, I mean, you just heard me try to get It's a hard it. phrase to say. You guys try to say that at home. It's yeah. a tongue twister. But nonetheless, what we want to do is we want to dig into this yep. from our current perspective of a past classic. So I'm ready. Woodford Reserve. This Let's is not the double oak? This is in, exactly. Everybody talks about Woodford Reserve double oaked these days. Yeah. Woodford Reserve straight bourbon whiskey has gone by the wayside. Nobody gives it the time of day. This sits on shelves. It's $33. Okay. It's 90.4 proof, Woodford's standard proof point. Yeah. You can go ahead and get into the nose. I'm going to okay. tell the people a little bit about this. Here's, okay. here's what we know about Woodford Reserve straight bourbon whiskey. We don't know the age statement. It smells like whiskey. That's what I know. <laughs> they don't tell us the age statement on this. Woodford Reserve is a brown foreman owned distillery, okay. which means they use heat cycled warehouses for their products. So it's probably aged a little less than maybe some distilleries. However, they say the heat cycling adds some agedness onto the product. Well, it makes it taste that. a little older. The reason we're revisiting this one today is because this to me back in the day used to be one of the nice bourbons. Mm, like, like when you were in college and you would yeah, take it to a party. Yeah. So I went to actually, no, we couldn't even afford Woodford back then. Oh. Like I was going to college in Western Kentucky, Western Kentucky University, Hilltoppers. Was up, and <laughs> And so oh, age. that was when my exposure to bourbon happened. Yeah. This is why people don't like Ohio State fans. Because I just literally mentioned a university that has nothing to do with Ohio and you can't help yourself. Because <laughs> it's the Ohio State University, what no, can I say? Oh, God bless. Okay. Nonetheless, this right here is... It was like the the premium bourbon. Okay. Like we would drink like Evan Williams Black Label okay. and Wild Turkey 101 and Jim Beam and stuff okay. like that. And then if you wanted to elevate a little bit to impress the girls when you went to a party, you would oh. bring Maker's Mark. Oh, Maker's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But Woodford was just even a cut above that. So I remember getting into Woodford and thinking to myself. Was Woodford what you would bring when you wanted to feel kind of snooty about whiskey? Woodford was At like. At that point in your life? No, Woodford was like my post-college I can afford to spend a little bit more on a bottle of whiskey. Uh, okay. This okay. is thirty-three dollars now, but in my mind, back in the day, it was closer to forty. It probably felt like a hundred too to it a, felt like like a, a twenty-two-year-old. Yeah, it did, and it, I remember it tasting like bourbon should taste. Mm -hmm. So it smells like bourbon should smell. So, it has a faint, faint Elmer's glue smell to it, though. Okay. I kind of like that, but I'm weird. Okay, so this is really interesting getting back into this. A little bit's gone from the bottle because we put it into some blind head-to-head -head uh -huh. matchups that are yet to pop up on the channel. But smelling this, it's brighter than I remember it. Oh, okay. Like when I think of what classic bourbon should smell like these days, I want it to be caramel, vanilla, oak, and I want it to be heavy on the vanilla and a fair bit of oak balancing it out too. I like I, that dark candy bar profile. I feel like there's a decent amount of vanilla in this. There is a lot of vanilla in here, and there's also some banana in here, which is kind oh, of a hallmark I'm not to that. the Brown Foreman distilleries. I never do, though. But it's it's bright. It's light. Mm -hmm. There's almost like a little bit of a citrusy type of note in here. Wow. You're pulling out stuff that I only could dream of. No, it smells kind of like a cocktail. It smells like when you smell an old-fashioned, mm -hmm. and you catch a little bit more of the orange. Okay. Or if it's garnished with a lemon, you catch a little bit more of the lemon zest or the okay. expression in there, the oil. It's clinging to your glass pretty nicely. I'm ready nicely. to drink this. I've been smelling let's, this a right, long time. Let's get into it. 
I don't know if hmm. you put the citrus note in my mind, but it kind of tastes like a dry orange. Yeah, it's got that kind of flavor profile. And dry is a good word because this is has a dry kind of profile mm -hmm. to it. Not... It's not high drying, but it's like medium on the dry level. Yeah, I'm not saying it's drying on the palate. I'm saying it like the flavor. is like a dry white wine or like a dry flavor. champagne. Mm -hmm. It has that same type of thing. To me, this is actually coming across almost ginger ale-y. It's kind of got that mm -hmm. bright ginger ale flavor to it. I can see that. And for bourbon. me, I'm getting like the oak, the oakness, the drying part on the front. And then the finish is where I'm getting more like sweetness. Yeah, it's to me it smells sweeter than it tastes, personally speaking. I'm taking another sip to test it out. Let's go. Yeah, I feel like this is a classic, brighter whiskey. It's yeah. not like your dark caramel chocolate whiskey, but it's a brighter flavor, but it's good. Like it's solid. And what's the price point on this? 33 bucks. Yeah, I mean, you're getting a good pour for the price, for sure. Honestly, even if it was more than that, you'd still be getting a good, a good pour. Yeah, I think for me, if I'm talking about, is this worth it in 2023? Mm -hmm. For me, probably not. There's other okay. things out there that have more proof, mm. more flavor mm. for less money. What's the proof on this? 90.4. You probably said that. I, I didn't yeah, hear it. Yeah, it did. She okay. never listens to me. That's not but true. <laughs> it's, it's a Woodford thing. They like to do things at 90.4 okay. proof. It's it's fine. It's good. I wouldn't... There's nothing offensive in the glass, so I wouldn't give it a thumbs down. Yeah. It's not a hard pass. Yeah, it's a thumbs up for me. I like it. Would I rather have Woodford Reserve Double Oaked? Yes. Right, but you're going to pay... 50 to $60 for that Correct. compared to this. That Honestly, I could drink this, the regular Woodford, like on a summer day out on the porch. Yeah. That, that's, that's where I envision drinking this and being very happy with it. Yeah, I think that that kind of is the niche for this product. It's fairly easy sipping, mm -hmm. especially once you get past that first sip. I mean, this was our first sip of the day. Yeah. That second sip, for lack of a better word, went down very smooth. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of pointy edges. It, it kind of has that brightness on the palate. Again, mm -hmm. like ginger ale. It's the sort of thing that I think on a hot summer day, you could put over ice, drink yeah. it as like a replacement to tea or something. Of course, I it's mean, alcohol. It's alcohol, so be careful. Right. Don't drink it as much as tea, but... Yeah, this is really interesting. I don't I don't know if it's worth it in 2023 or not. I personally probably am not going to buy another bottle once this one runs out. That's there's fair. just other things I'd rather spend my money on. That's fair. But if you're new to whiskey, there's no sharp edges in here. Mm -hmm. I think the bright sweetness that's in the glass is going to be something that's going to be pretty appealing to most right. people. And I think if you are if you are new to whiskey, this is a good one to to try because you get your classic flavors in here at a lower proof point. You don't feel like you're missing out on the flavor that the high proof drinkers get. Mm -hmm. it, it has flavor just at it a It does lower have flavor, point. yeah. Yeah, I think that says it all really. I mean, yeah. I think I'd probably be happier with this at like 25 or $28 rather than 33, but I mean, that's you know, we're picking nits at that point. Splitting hairs. Yeah. If you like the style of content, subscribe to the channel because we bring it to you every week. And if you like the video, go ahead and like it. And if you'd like to join us for a pour on an upcoming live stream, hit the bell down there. It'll let you know when we're going live. Absolutely. That's it for today. Be good to each other. And until next time, cheers. cheers.